We wrap our high school boys volleyball highlights from last evening at Emmaus, where the Green Hornets welcome Bethlehem Catholic to town. The Golden Hawks still in search of their first win of the new campaign, while the Hornets were seeking their fifth victory overall and second straight after a fourth set win at Deeriff on Tuesday. Third match in as many nights for Emmaus, Cassie Schmidt joins us with more. Emmaus is still looking to find their groove as a team after some key losses to graduation and looking to get things on the right track Wednesday night against Bethlehem Catholic. Hawks sticking with them early on. Louis Vidal with a huge kill at the net to keep them within two, trailing five to three. However, from there, it's a 13 to two run by Emmaus to open up their largest lead of the set, starting with a Dimitric Harris kill from the left side and ending that run is Harris with an ace. He would have three on the night as the Hornets go in front 18 to five. They'd allow just four more Hawks points while Zach Boss ends set one with back to back kills and the Hornets take it 25 to nine. Another even start to set two where a Vidal kill will tie things up at two apiece. And thanks to a few Emmaus errors, Becca would stay within striking distance. A Vidal block and kill for Becca will keep them within four trailing 16 to 12. But that's the closest they would get as the Hornets finish set two strong on a 9-2 run to take it 25-15 and go up two sets to none. It was a solid night for sophomore Dimitrik Harris, who'd lead the way for Emmaus with his 12 kills on 18 attempts. He'd put the exclamation mark on set three with back-to-back -back kills as Emmaus would take it in a 25-14 set three final and get the sweep over the Golden Hawks. I think that it was important for them to do that. Uh, we have a lot to work on yet. It's still somewhat early in the season, so it, games like this really allow us to work on some of the things that we've been trying to get to and clean up all the things that we continually make mistakes on. It was a tough loss to rival Whitehall on Monday, but since then the Hornets are getting back on track, winning now two straight, and the key has just been having some fun. Oh, when we're a team, everything just clicks more. I feel like we're all just communicate more. We're talking and we're laughing and we're really just having a good time. And when we have a good time, we just get our kids out, you know? I mean, as you can see, we did we did pretty good today. I think that's, I mean, we're still getting uh, to getting to know each other more. I think we need to bond uh, as a team a little bit uh, more, I guess. But we're getting there and uh, I could see us going to states in the future and being a really good team. Volleyball is what they love to do. And because they love playing it so much, they sometimes forget on big games like Whitehall, big games like Parkland coming up, Northampton. They get too focused on the end result and they forget about having fun. And then it goes to show what happens when they do have fun. They actually do better than what they expected. On the scene, Adam Ayas, I'm Cassie Schmidt reporting for the SC Network. Thanks a lot, Cassie. Now, other stat leaders for Emmaus yesterday included Logan Doherty, who you heard from. He had eight kills on 12 attempts, as well as Jonathan Cannon, who registered six kills, while Noah Parker added five more. Now, five and one on the year, the Green Hornets are off until Monday when they host Nazareth. Becca, meanwhile, gets EPC leading Whitehall on Friday. Zephyr stayed perfect on the year and perfect in league play yesterday with a three sets to one victory at home against Duraf. Whitehall now 6-0 overall, 6-0 in league play. That set loss to Deeriff yesterday, just the third dropped set all season. For George Kowich's group, which has won 18 of 21 sets overall, Zephs are at Becca Friday before visiting Nazareth on Saturday. Elsewhere in high school boys volleyball yesterday, Freedom picked up its third victory of the season yesterday with a three-set sweep at Pocono Mountain East. Patriots are now 3-2 and two, both overall and in league play. That's a nice bounce back for the Pates after recent five-set losses to both Northampton and Easton. Pocono Mountain West, meanwhile, earned its first victory of the young season yesterday, winning in five sets against William Allen. Uh, both West and the Canaries are one and six overall on the season. Allen's only victory came out of league against District 3's Kutztown. And rounding out our high school boys volleyball scoreboard from yesterday, how about the Southern Lehigh Spartans? They are not only a perfect 5-0 and after yesterday's three-set sweep at Easton, the Spartans haven't dropped a set all year. 15 for 15 in their first five matches of the season. Easton, meanwhile, now 4-3 and three after yesterday's setback, which snapped the four-game winning streak for the Red Rovers. For Easton coming up next, the Red Rovers will visit Northampton on Friday. Our high school coverage, meanwhile, from Wednesday,